Tomorrow will mark four weeks since the assault on the U.S. Capitol. In the weeks since, KDK has shared reaction from many members of our congressional delegation with you. However, Congressman Guy Reschenthaler has remained silent, instead only granting TV interviews to conservative cable networks. Well, now in his first local TV interview since the attack, Reschenthaler is defending former President Trump and his own attempt to disqualify Pennsylvania's election results. In a one-on-one -on -one with political editor John Delano, Reschenthaler also says that running for the Senate next year is an option. It's hard to find a local Republican who supports Donald Trump more than Guy Reschenthaler. And that could be Reschenthaler's ticket to the U.S. Senate next year. While 10 House Republicans did vote to impeach Donald Trump for his part in inciting the deadly attack on the Capitol building, Congressman Reschenthaler was adamantly opposed to impeachment. Should the president be held accountable in any way, shape, or form for what happened on January 6th? Joe Biden talks a lot about unity. The way to unify a country is not to impeach Donald Trump and, by extension, the 75 million Americans who voted for him. Reschenthaler says, forget the past. Let's look forward. Let's work together. Let's accomplish things. Let's not look retroactively at what happened in the past and further divide this country. But he acknowledges that he did try to disqualify on the House floor the votes of millions of Pennsylvanians whose ballots reelected him and elected Joe Biden at the same time but now he downplays its effect on the election. That was a symbolic vote. Everybody knew that that, that vote was not gonna overturn the results of the election. That was a symbolic vote to put the Pennsylvania Supreme Court on notice that they cannot usurp the power of the Pennsylvania General Assembly. Of course, it was the Republican legislature, not the court, that adopted no-fault mail-in voting that Trump wanted to disqualify to defeat Biden. Do you believe he is the legitimate president of the United States? Joe Biden is the president of the United States. We need to be very concerned about that because Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have declared a war on working class Americans. Some analysts think Reschenthaler's loyalty to Trump makes him a strong candidate for U.S. Senate next year. So will he run? I'm very happy in the House, but of course, I keep all options open. And one of those options could be to run for the U.S. Senate. Hey, I don't take any options off the table, but I'm very happy in the house, John. John Delano, KDKA News.